Hi guys, this is Tech Howdy. I welcome you to another video tutorial on creating an ASP.NET Core application with Angular 7. In the last video tutorial, we were working on the auth card service class and in this video tutorial, we will continue to code the auth card service class. So this is the part 2 of the video tutorial for creating an auth card service. And in the last video tutorial, we added a condition to check if the user was not logged in. And if the user was not logged in, then the using the router object, we will navigate the user to the login page. And after the user has entered his valid credentials and logged into the application, then we redirect to the redirect the user to the initial URL that he was trying to access when he was not authenticated. Now this condition will only execute if the user is not logged in. What happens if the user is already logged in and trying to access a particular component that needs authorization? So to check if the user is authorized, we need to add a condition where we will check if the user's role is equal to the user's role that is allowed to view a specific component so in this example where we are trying to access the product component which can be viewed only by users who are either customer admin or moderator role so we will add a condition to verify if the client has one of the following user roles associated with them then they can view that component so first thing that we want to do is add a switch statement here switch method and within the switch method, we will pass this destination object. So based on the user's uh, role, we will switch the destination. If the user's role does not permit the user to view a specific component, then the destination will not be the state URL, which means the return URL. It will be the login path. And I'll show you how to do that. So first thing we want to do is add a switch method here. And inside the switch method, first thing that we want to do is create two cases. I hope everybody is familiar with switch cases. And if you are not, then please read the JavaScript documentation. This is very basics of uh, if or using conditions in your application. You can either use if or switch switch cases. So we have a switch method over here and the first case that we want to check if the user was trying to access the products component so it would be forward slash products now we will use another case here case where the user was trying to access forward slash products forward slash plus the product ID which is coming from this object which will store the ID from the params now we have two cases here within our destination if any one of this case matches so if user the destination value is either products or products plus the product ID then what do we want to do in that case we want to then check if the user is, has a valid user role to view these products. So here we will open two curly braces for our case. Let me just organize this properly. So we have these two cases now and here we will check because we have to check if the user role permits the user to view this particular components so we have an if condition here and we will check that local storage we will get the value of the user role key so inside the account service class when the user logs into the application we we store the value of the user role in the local storage we set the value using the user role key and the value is from the result so now to access the value of this user role we will access it by calling the user role key the key that we have used to store that data 
so local storage dot get item user role is the key and now we will check if it is equal to customer or the local storage dot user role is equal to admin also we have another condition where we have to check if the it is a moderator because we have three roles in our application we have user role of a customer admin and uh, moderator and all of these uh, user role client with these user roles can actually view the product component and we have set it over here so if you are not familiar with how this user role manages the clients please watch the previous video tutorial so now if the client it belongs to one of these user roles then we want to return true if the client doesn't belong to any one of these user roles then we obviously want to return false so if it is if they belong to this role uh, to this role then we will return true now let's add a second condition or second case so this is how we will add the second condition by using another case so in this case we will say if the client is trying to access products forward slash update the client is trying to access product forward slash update because we know that update can only be accessed by the admin and not by moderator or by the customer so please note if you want to give the moderator the access of updating the uh, products then you can also add the moderator in the conditions that we are going to create but I have not providing the moderator the permission to update so in this case I'm going to again add a if statement here so let's add a condition if the local storage dot user role is equal to customer or moderator so if the user role is customer or moderator then we want to deny access to view that particular page so what we will do is using the router object that we created we will call the navigate method and we will navigate the user to a page which will contain the access denied uh, image that we are going to add and we have not yet created this access denied page and I will create that in the upcoming video so for now let's just leave it like this denied access denied so this is the route that we would use to access the that access denied path and obviously we cannot return through because they don't belong to that user role so we will return false so this condition now is done here now in the same case if somebody is trying to access the update component and their user role so i'm going to add another if condition here and if the user role remove this additional condition is equal to admin so we will we will give them the access to view that component so we will return true so that should be it for this condition very simple for admin we can return through now everything else which means we have to set a default option over here so so when we are using switch cases 
we have to always specify what is the default option if all the conditions are not met so if you're using a if l if statement if condition we always have if 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 and then finally we have an else statement that executes when none of the conditions have been met then the else condition executes similarly in switch if none of these conditions are satisfied if the user role doesn't belong to any one of these roles customer moderator admin and the person is trying to access the particular component that is protected then we will call the default case it's not called the case it's called the default execution so for our switch and what is the default thing that you want to execute is return false so now if none of the roles have been met so we will return false if they are met then we will satisfy the condition based on the uh, validation here so we don't need this uh, return false now yeah i had just added this return false statement to remove to get rid of that squiggly squiggly red lines that were appearing while i was coding so we have this return false statement over here which is going to take care of the condition now we can save this and we are done with this auth guard service in case as i told you if you have more user roles and depending on how you want to give them permission you can add more cases and let's say you have created more components like products blog and so on so you can add cases for them as well so you can add let's say you have another component called as blog then you can add another case here like this and you can add a case like this and call it blog okay so based on the number of components you have you can always do the required cases so that's it for this video tutorial we don't need anything else in this uh, auth guard component class and all and all the code will be available in the dave ops repos please like and subscribe my channel thank you for watching